together one of these foldable ground plane antennas. This right here is the two meter. We're gonna be putting together a little 70 centimeter today though, just so it can stay a little bit more compact. I'll just stay on camera for you. Uh, this body right here, you can uh, use this. These files are uh, free for you to download and print with the uh, link below. Uh, so you can print these off and uh, cut the elements whatever length you need. Uh, all these measurements for the elements that I've cut I just got from uh, Amateur Radio app, or you can look them up online, but uh, they're pretty easy to find. The materials you're going to need for this ground plane antenna are uh, your radio connector. I like to use BNCs. You're going to need uh, some of your round stock that you're going to use to make your antenna elements. I like to use this uh, 332 TIG filler. Uh, this is brass, but you can get aluminum or steel also. Uh, you're going to need all of our 3D printed files. All out here I printed those on PLA plus. I need four little pieces of wire cut to four inches with the both ends stripped. I stripped one about three eighths, the other one about five eighths. Uh, with your radio connector you're also gonna need one of these little locking rings, but uh, most radio connectors come with those. And then you're gonna need a little bit of wire, just some type of stiff wire or pin material that we're gonna use to make these pin hinges when we start to assemble the body and of course some, uh, some solder and some way to solder. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our radio connector and then we're going to take our main element. As you can see here, we've uh, went and we've sharpened the end of it and stick it right in the end of our radio connector and then we're going to solder that there. So uh, this will be our main element that can come out of the center pin of that radio connector. Next we can assemble the body of the antenna. We can take our parts, we can take our bottom hub here and the fatter of the two types of arms. What I do is just match up the holes and we can just put a piece of this wire through. This isn't any special type, this isn't any special type of wire. I just stick it through until it just barely protrudes from the other side and then I snip off what we have left. What I do from here is I set on this little anvil and I just peen over the end just a little bit and that's uh, going to be pretty unlikely to come loose out of there just because it's pretty snug. But there we go. And we're going to do that all the way around. I'm going to take your smaller arms, and those are going to go right in here. And do the same thing where you stick the pin in, flip it off, and then pin it over. Next, take your top piece, and you're just going to put it right in the center of all these, and pin it in also. Okay, so now we have our antenna body. So you can see, it'll fold down. And it'll fold up. We're just going to set that aside for a minute because next we're going to take our four wires and each one of these at the long end we're going to wrap around inside of this little lock ring and we're going to twist it once. And we're going to put them opposite sides of each other. So there we go. This is going to thread onto here. And where these wires go inside of this ring, those are going to go in these flat spots right there. There we go. Push it just all the way down up against the shoulder. Next, we can take this, insert it into the bottom, push it through, and then feed the tip right here through this hole as well. Push all the way up through. As you can see, this is about as short as you can make this thing with this configuration, because any longer and you'd lose the tip outside that whenever you fold it up. 
once you get it inside there, then you can just screw it in all the way until uh, that ring right there with our wires is good and tightly pinched up against the shoulder. One quick note here, whenever you're printing your parts, you can print them whatever orientation you want, but these lower arms right here, I suggest you printing them on their side like this, not like this. You will have to have some support, but that makes it to where you aren't having layer lines going through these little tabs right here. As you can see, I broke one off, and with the other ones I remembered to print them on their sides, so that'd be stronger right there, but on this one I forgot, so I'll have to reprint these arms. But uh, let's just take that note uh, to print those on their side. It'll make it a little bit stronger. Next, we can attach our radials. To do that, we're going to take these wires, which these are going to be uh, our ground coming off the shielding of our wire from the outside of this connector. They're going to be going into these slots here on the back of the lower arms. On each one of these radials, what I've done is on the very end, you can see that I flattened out one side for about the first quarter of an inch. And what that's going to be for is we're going to lay the wire down inside this groove, then we're going to shove this up in there, and this little uh, ramp right here is basically going to pinch the wire underneath it. I've tried soldering it up inside of here, but because it's already up inside of this uh, PLA Plus, to be able to get this hot enough to solder, it melts the arm. So, uh, especially since this is just the uh, this is just the shielding right here. It's not the uh, actual uh, signal we're going to be pushing through it. I found that just the physical contact is good enough, and you don't have to actually solder it. Uh, it was tuned up just fine without uh, without having it soldered. But uh, what we're going to do here is each one of these wires is going to wrap around as far as you can to a post or to an arm. They aren't just going to come straight out and down because we don't want the wires to be kinked. If we wrap them around a little bit like this, then whenever we unfold it, they won't have to go through such a drastic change. It'll be a little bit easier on them. So we're just going to wrap a wire around, lay it down inside there. Then we can take the end that has a chamfer on it and slide it through. And just slowly push it through until it completely covers up the bare end of your wire and bottoms out. So you can see right there, we pinched the end of the wire down really well and uh, it's all covered up and it's in there really tight. Uh, from here you can go and you can lay a little bit of glue or something down in there just to make sure that nothing goes anywhere. And there we go, here's your antenna. Pulls out nice and easy. So also with this, there'll be an extra file for this little clip. This clip right here just snaps around the base and you have a quarter inch hole in it, uh, which can be put on a camera tripod. So the little bolt that's in the camera tripod, that just slides right over it. And if you have a nut, you can tighten it down so you can attach it to a pole or something. Or uh, you can just take that size of the hook and, uh, I don't know, screw it to whatever you want.